Okay, your computer is a computer. Now tell me why you need another one in your pocket. And another one on your fucking wrist. And another one, another one. in your bag, but it's like an iPad. And it interacts with a fucking pen or something. <laughs> These Apple cunts be carrying three devices, 50 adapters, and they got more devices than bitches. Now, what do you think the top G Andrew Tate would think about that? Wait, no, doesn't he have like more supercars than bitches anyway? Ah, shit. Well, n never mind that. Carrying this many devices isn't smart. It's fucking retarded, okay? Uh, my iPad lets me draw on the pen. Shut the fuck up, okay? I'll go over these devices one by one and explain why they are utterly fucking useless. Now, let's start with the iPad. Yeah. Yeah. This thing has the illusion of being useful because it lets you fucking draw on it or whatever. Uh, you can use the butt plug. Yeah. I, I mean pen. And you can write, you can draw penises on it really quickly, and you can color the penises and shit. But here's something else. This is a graphics tablet, okay? Now this thing, this is a really good one, a pretty large one as well, and it costs about $100. This is a USB-A port, and I know you Mac motherfuckers don't know what this is, but the point is I can plug this into my laptop, and I can use a fast software like XJournal, and I can draw on it, save my notes, all at the same computer, and it doesn't need a battery. Here's the thing. That component right there, the $100 graphics tablet, does not need a battery. The iPad, okay, you need to charge the iPad, and then you need to charge the Apple Pen, okay, because it's a proprietary pen. You can't just use any pen. No, 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 you gotta use the Apple Pen. And now, you have two extra devices, which you need to charge and take care of and sync together. But the graphics tablet is just one thing, which you plug in, and there's absolutely no battery in it at all. The pen doesn't have a battery, neither does the tab. And not to mention, you already have a phone and a computer, or a laptop. And Steve Jobs managed to convince you, uh, we need something in between. Something that's between a laptop and a smartphone. Fuck off. The iPad is just another tool to spy on you, and to make more money, and destroy the environment. Okay, smartwatches. Yeah. Yeah. Now these are by far the most retarded. Now which idiot thought putting a computer and a battery in a fucking watch is a good idea? Oh, a greedy fucking businessman who wants to make money and spy on people? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Now, it all makes sense now. You don't need a fucking smart one. Uh, my, my mind tracks my heart rate. Uh, I, I'm an athlete. <laughs> If you're an athlete, get a fucking cardiac sensor and link it to your phone, okay? All the features your smartwatch has, you don't need it. They convinced you you need it, but you really don't. Your phone can really do everything. Your phone is already another fucking computer in your pocket if you think about it. Smartwatches, again, I'll tell you what they really are. They're just another way to track you, okay? You do not need a watch that has capabilities to hear you. You don't need a watch with a microphone, location pinging, and a fucking camera, okay? You do not need a watch capable of spying on you. Get a mechanical watch, okay? It costs about $100, okay? You don't need to charge it. There's no battery on it, no computer on it to spy on you. It's just simple mechanics that charges when you move your hand. Wanking charges the fucking thing. What, what more do you need? And in the end, the point of a good device is to minimi minimize the devices you need. It's to make your life easier, not harder, by having to keep track of more things and charge more things, okay? One laptop is enough. The truth is, your phone doesn't need to be a computer either. The fucking flip phones with the Nokia MP3 capabilities and call and message were more than enough. Now, fucking Elon Musk is trying to put computers in cars. Great. Another thing corporations can control now. Now, these assholes can remotely disable your car if there's a fault with their payments or they just don't like you. You know what I mean? Let's say you made a funky post on Twitter. Well, now they can remotely disable your car. They can remotely disable the brakes and things like that because a computer controls everything in your car, like the, the heating seats or the heating wheel or whatever the fuck. You see, this is why they're trying to make everything smart. Smart watch, smart car, smart woman, smart dishwasher. Wait, no, that already exists. You get the point. They're trying to make everything smart so they can track you and get rid of your fucking privacy. That is what it is about. If something has a computer in it that can connect to the internet and it has a proprietary driver on it, that thing can be remotely controlled. It can be used to disable features, can be used to track you, and it can be used to take away your privacy. This is why they're trying to put computers in everything. They're trying to convince you with features. Oh, my watch tracks steps. No, 
It tracks you, you dumbass. You don't need these fucking features, okay? They're trying to get your whole life in the virtual world, right? Put a computer in every aspect of your life so they can control everything. This is not a fucking conspiracy. What do you think the metaverse tried to do? Tried to get people to work from home, work in the digital environment, live in the digital environment. So the the fucking, what's his name? Mark Zuckerberg could control everything. He who controls the metaverse will control everything because everything is done on it, right? You don't need these bullshit features. Minimalism is weirdly enough. Think about that. Less is more. I, it, this is not like a dick size thing, okay? This really is the case. Let go of the shit. The ThinkPad X220 is enough. Talk about a graphics tablet. Some of you are going to roast me in the comments saying, use a fucking notebook and a pen. To which I say, yes, I completely agree. If you think the graphics tablet is retarded, yes, just use a fucking notebook and a pen for like your math working out and then you transcribe it to LaTeX for your report. That That is perfectly fine as well. Smartwatches are fully retarded. iPads are fucking excessive and bloated as hell. And again, like I said, the point of a smart device is to make your life easier. It's supposed to be able to do everything. You're not supposed to need multiple of them for fuck's sake. A computer, even a fucking ThinkPad X220 is already a supercomputer. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.